my voice is coming good and clear. Please let me know if you have any difficulty from your side. Uh, today our topic is about Allah is all-knowing. All-knowing is Allah. This is what the Muslims, they say to us. But how truthful this statement is, today we are going to do a little examination. Uh, actually, every day we do, uh, you know, examination to such a statement, uh, which means it's nothing really new, but today we are going to take it in different level. And I hope Muslims, uh, they will share with us. Please be nice to everybody. Christians, please, please nice to Muslims. And if there is somebody is rude, don't be rude. You know, the one is rude, we are going to block him. So we want to have a good discussion, good for adult, and even good for younger ones. When a Muslim says to us that Allah is all-knowing, the purpose of saying that is to make you believe that Allah is God. And for sure, God is all-knowing. I mean, come on. He's God. So God and He is not all-knowing, that would be funny God. Uh, so Allah is all-knowing. But if we go in the Quran, we will find stories exposing that this God has nothing to do with being knowing. And actually, He proved it to us. As an example, in chapter 2, verse number 30, we see that Allah speaking about himself and about what happened between him and the angels now for sure i me myself i wasn't there to know what happened exactly but if allah is all knowing and allah is saying the story so the story must be true remember the one is reporting the story is allah i'm going to zoom in so you guys can see with me better in the screen the text Remember, this is chapter 2, verse number 30 in the Quran. And when the Lord said unto the angels, Lo, I am about to place... Uh, the translation is really stupid. Let me translate it. Sorry, I have to do it. I mean, this guy, Bikhtar, sometime he... I think he don't use dictionary. He uses his notes. Uh, let us see this guy. Uh, all right, maybe this guy, he don't use his nose. And remember when your Lord said to the angels, Verily, I'm going to place a mankind, generations after generation on earth. What this guy is talking about, and supposedly now we, we found a better translation. Generations after generation. He's talking about a guy. He did not even create him yet. I mean, what, what this... Change the translator again. I mean, you cannot find uh, one serious Muslim he know what he's talking about. Generation after generation. He did not even create Adam yet. What generation after generation? Let us go to other Abdul, uh, Yusuf Ali. Maybe Yusuf Ali, by mistake, will bring it right. Behold, the Lord said to the angels, I will create, here we go, finally. I will create a caliphate in the earth. Caliphate, the word there is caliphate, Khalifa. On earth, they said, will thou place therein one who will kill, uh, who will ma make mischief therein and shed blood? Whilst we do celebrate, they praise and the glory, glorify the holy, which means Allah. He said, I know what you know not. And here the problem is started. I wish Allah he keep his mouth shut because the problem will not be exist if he just psh, let it go. So what happened in this story here, the angels accuse Allah that by creating Adam and giving him the right to inherit the earth, he is giving the right to someone he don't deserve it for he will do mischievement and he will shed blood. Allah get offended because the angels obviously, obviously here are questioning his authority of a creating someone and about uh, they are questioning to his, uh, his how wise he is because obviously they are saying to him you have a wrong decision and you are doing that. Adam don't deserve that because he is going to do mischievement. 
uh, I'm not sure how good is the text for you guys please let me know you know uh, how clear the text from your side and how how good you can read it uh, we can zoom mo more a little bit maybe here I'm using tablet as you know for now so you have to be patient with me until I go back home uh, and by the way for those who do not know uh, finally YouTube they brought us uh, back the super chat so it's active and it's working now for those who they were questioning now so when the angels they question that why you are going to create someone and he is going to do mischievement obviously the uh, angels speaking about something really weird how the angels even knew that adam will do mischievement how the angels they predict that Adam will not be a good person how the angels were able to come to such a conclusion so the story here is kind of a fishy however the story here is copied from someone else and someone else obviously it's not Muhammad Muhammad always copies stories from others in that version of the story it's exactly as it is here that angels they ask Allah <coughs> how you are going to do that and Allah he said to them I know what you know not, which mean I have knowledge and you don't have knowledge. As you see, the answer is I know what you know not. So the answer is I have knowledge which you do not have, which mean when they make claim that Adam will do mischievement and shed blood, they were not given an accurate knowledge. And actually he is saying to them, this is false. All right. So it is false to believe in such a thing. And Allah here, he wanted to prove to them that he knew not what they know, or he know what they knew not, as you see. So in verse number 31, he said, and he taught Adam the names of all things. By the way, this is, can be found in the, in the Bible, but the story is different in the Bible, because in the Bible it says that God, he taught Adam the names, which means he taught him, I mean, he gave him, basic knowledge how to survive uh, this is uh, this is a water to drink this is a food to eat this is a, a tree to eat from the, you know so a basic knowledge god provided adam with so here the story is different allah he taught adam the names of all things then we will see what the purpose of this education then he placed them before the angels he pl he placed what he placed all things which adam been taught their names so the purpose of this uh, teaching is to show the angels that they are ignorant they do not know remember he says to them i know not i know what you know not then here he taught him the names and now he placed those things before the angels and he said to them okay you claim that adam will do mischievement well that's mean you claim that you know the unseen you know the future and say to them okay i have an exam for you i named things and i taught adam all the names of those things so now i'm going to place those things before you and you tell me the names if you are right if you are right here go back to what go back to the verse before it where they claim that adam will do mischievement so allah here is doing examination to the knowledge of the angels if they are right about Adam will do mischievement, well, they should be right here too, and they will should be able to tell the names of those things if they are right. And here you notice that Allah, he failed. Allah, he is not smart. Because as we knew, Adam, he was kicked out of heaven. He did mischievement. And because he did mischievement, he went out of heaven not because he was good so Allah here saying to the angels if you are right that Adam would do mischievement well tell me the names of those things but all of us we knew that Allah is wrong and Adam did mischievement which means the angels were right and then the, the children of Adam they did shed the blood right away uh, the, the, the sons of Adam, they killed each other. So the story here, the story here proving to us 
that the author of this story is a is a low IQ. He's not smart. He is suffering from. Um, I don't know what to, to say. I mean, he's very low low IQ. I don't know what happened to the page. It's not open. I hope my my internet is not going slow. So the author of of this story, he don't have any idea how to solve this this issue so the way he solved it it was very silly it was very stupid and he got himself busted because the angels they were right and Allah was wrong and you can read the rest of the story if you wish because this is exactly what lead us to understand in a very one simple page in the Quran that this is a very stupid story and Allah was wrong Additional to that, there's more stupid things happen here. When Allah uh, looked like the page flipped, when Allah He decided to make this uh, uh, or to create this way to examine their knowledge, the purpose of that supposedly to prove them wrong. So that purpose failed. Secondly. How you can prove them that they do not know the unseen by such an examination? Look how stupid the method. And he taught Adam the names of all things. Then he placed them before the angels and said, tell me the names of those things if you are right. Okay. So now Allah is trying to prove that he is the one who know the unseen by giving names to things. That's stupid. To make it simple for you, I'm going to buy a cat and I'm going to name my cat Susu and then I place my cat in the front of you and I say to you what is the name of my cat you give up you say I do not know say see only me I am the only one can tell you what the name of the cat her name is Susu and that is the proof that I am God you should worship me so the method we are talking about is obviously silly and stupid and we should not do that I mean, we should not. I mean, this is not a smart idea. Uh, like, imagine I I, I, uh, I give a name to my car and I ask you, what is the name of my car? You say, I don't know. You say, I called my car Juju. And then because you do not know the name of my car, that is a proof that I am God and I know the unseen and you have no knowledge. Allah should do the opposite. Allah should ask them, okay, go and do whatever you want without telling me. Name things without telling me. Name it behind doors and don't tell me and then come to me and ask me about those things I will give you the names that will be amazing because Allah here he proved that he knew the unseen But naming things and say to them what was the what the name of those things this proved nothing This is a proof only that the angels They are just angels But according to Islam angels they knew many things nobody knows because they can hear what Allah says. How Allah, he taught Adam the names by using voice, but the angels cannot hear it. Remember, Muslim, they claim that angels, they can hear you from far away. Yet they could not hear Allah teaching Adam the names. So the story here is very silly, proving to us that both of them, they have no knowledge. The one who wrote the story is silly. The one who is in the story, the hero, which is Allah, and Adam and the angels all those names their existence is weird and nothing there makes sense now this is not the only reason to believe that Allah is not knowledgeable the Quran is full of silly stories but this one alone is enough to prove that the author of the Quran cannot be God the author of the Quran is in you know someone he have very low education and he is not even should not be considered smart at all now when he said to them okay well tell me the names of those things if you are right he just approved to us again that they are right and he's wrong because all of us we knew what happened to Adam same time the examination method is very stupid and if you go down just a few lines you will see that Adam this mischievement Allah told him go you and your wife eat from all things except this and then Adam he did and then it says, then Satan, he make them slip in the garden, which means they commit sin. And then Allah, he kicked them out from heaven. 
<laughs> so, so the angels, they were right. And he was wrong. In the same page, just a few lines after the story, take another uh, 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 kind of shifting. And Adam did mischievement because if you commit sin, if you disobey Allah, this is a big mischievement. Anything you do against the will of Allah in Islam, uh, this is a big mischievement. So the angels, they were right. And then to make it more funny, Adam, he asked Allah to forgive him. And how he asked him to forgive him, the story is very stupid. Uh, supposedly the Muslim, they claim that Adam, when Allah created him, he lifted his head up and he saw the name of the Prophet Muhammad on the chair of Allah. And then he says to Allah, please Allah, forgive me for the sake of Muhammad. So Allah said to him, how you know about Muhammad? I did not even create him yet. Adam, he says, well, I saw his name in your, in your chair. And I know that there is no way you will name somebody, you put his, the name of somebody in the chair, in your chair, unless he's very close to you. Allah was very uh, like uh, impressed with the with the with the uh, with the thinking of Adam, and because of that, he forgave him. But look, he forgave him, and then he kicked him out from heaven. Have you ever heard of a silly story like this before? Get down, all of you, from here. Get down, who? Allah saying to Shaitan and Adam and Eve get down so how he forgive him and then he says to him get down very silly stupid story so to make it simple the story does not make sense as everything in this book but what make it more funny that the story take wrong order especially when Allah he kicked shaitan out of heaven before he did that before he kicked Adam from heaven Allah kicked shaitan out of heaven because if you remember let us go back to the search engine. Uh, zoom. All right. If you remember, Allah, he order uh, shaitan, which in this verse is called Iblis, which is a proven Islam to be false again, because why he's using the word Iblis? I mean, Iblis is not even an Arabic word. And it's coming from a language. This is gonna be the language of Allah. You can go right now and search for the word Iblis. Where the word Iblis coming from? So sometimes he called him Satan, which is not Arabic word, and sometimes he called him Iblis, which is not an Arabic word. Here we will see in chapter two, verse number thirty-four, because the angels they claim that Adam would do mischievement. Allah he ordered the angels to bow down to Adam, which is very funny and stupid. However. All the angels they bow down, save Iblis, as you see. But why Iblis need to be bowing down to Adam? I mean, this is stupid. The one who accused uh, uh, Adam to do mischievement, it was the angels. And according to Islam, maybe many of you do not know, in Christianity, uh, uh, Satan is a fallen angel. So he, he used to be an angel, and then he became evil, and he became called Satan. So, uh, uh, in Islam, this is not, not the case. In Islam, Satan is one of the genie. The Muslims, they believe in something called genie. Some naive Christian, they think that genie is a, a demon. Uh, Muslims do not believe in demon. Demon is a spirit. Genies are physically existing creatures. And even they can have sex with a human being. And they can even jump in your head. And even they can go and sleep on your nose. And even they piss and they have a, they have orgasm. So genies are not demon, as some naive Christian keep repeating, and I hear them all over, including some people who claim to be priests. So genie is not a demon. It's not. It is a creature which is coming from fairy tale stories, coming from all the way from Persia and from India. Genie in the bar. So. This is a genie, his name is Iblis, because he is the first shaitan, which means he is one of the genie who refused, he disobey Allah, and he was the father of all satans after him. If you remember, I showed you before how Muslims explain how shaitan have children. So according to Muslims, shaitan, he have a private part of a male and female, one in the right leg and one in the left leg. So he shake his legs, and by doing that, he will have, he will lay down uh, 10 eggs every morning, and from every egg, there is um, 70 uh, female and male Satan come out. So it's, uh, you know, fiction, stupid stories, and Muslims believe in this madness. So, uh, uh, 
but the, the story here the important for us that Allah he ordered the angels to bow down to Adam and here you ask yourself the Muslim they claim that we don't bow to anyone save Allah when the first one who commit shirk or torture to obey to someone other than Allah himself is Allah Allah is ordering the angels to bow down to Adam and here you remember the Muslim they say that Jibreel is the Holy Spirit but Jibreel was one of those angels so how he is holy holy don't commit sin so you know the Muslim they stole the name Holy Spirit they stole the name angels they stole the name Jibreel and they come with those stories and mix the story mixed up and now they are like Jehovah's Witnesses somehow so they are confused who is the Holy Spirit and then at the end of the day they come with the conclusion that Jibreel must be the Holy Spirit because Muhammad he said that in the hadith but here the important is that when Allah he ordered the angels to bow down why he is upset from Iblis Iblis or Satan is not one of the angels it's like saying all cats say meow and then you are upset from the dog but the dog is not a cat you just said all angels Allah said to all the angels remember the one who accused Adam with mischievement is angels so Allah wanted to punish them with penalty and show respect to Adam because they are wrong about him doing mischievement but the angels were right and Allah was wrong so Allah did wrong angels did right yet still angels have to bow down to Adam and then Allah he got upset from Iblis this is the worst movie ever is not even to happen even in Bollywood uh, uh, in this story because you know in, like it's silly it's stupid like you say take all the chairs out of the room and then you're upset from me for not taking the TV what well, the TV is not a chair we have different look and you have different duty so why are you upset from Iblis if he did not commit any crime and why you're asking him even to bow down to Adam he did nothing he spoke nothing to Adam this guy until now he's silent he had not no no idea what's happening and he commit nothing and then because he did uh, such a thing Allah he kicked shaitan out of heaven so Allah kicked out shaitan from heaven so how shaitan came back and uh, uh, you know uh, deceive Adam this is something Proving that the one who wrote the Quran is in, is a, is a, is not educated, is not a smart. He don't even have, a, you know, maybe he never played chess too. He should play a little chess, because those who play chess they can think better. So all the story here proved to us that the knowledge of Allah is silly, and writing a story is not one of his uh, 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 good skills, because the character of the stories they do stupid things. Uh, to to make it simple for you. Like in some stories, you see uh, Sylvester Stallone was shot in the right shoulder. In the scene after, he changed the shirt, his shirt and they put the makeup in the left shoulder. But he was shot in the right shoulder. Here, the mistake is bigger because the one who got shot supposedly is the angels. So why Iblis is the one to blame? And how Iblis was kicked out of heaven and yet he is coming back. So Allah said to Adam, Oh, Adam. Go you and your wife and sit in heaven and enjoy it, you know. And then Shaitan he caused them to to get out of heaven, but Shaitan already was kicked out from heaven. How this happened? This is uh, uh, things you see only in such a cult. It's called Islam. You can find the same story in chapter seven, verse number eleven. And by the way, here you need to ask yourself why the same stories repeated again and again and again I mean what the point I mean this is stupid that again is a sign of a fa fabrication because you told us the story in that chapter Allah is if Allah is God he should not be an old grandma she doesn't know what to do she kept repeating herself so the story repeated many times in the Quran but each time Allah he repeated he come with different order and he added details which is stupid look here as an example Adam here uh, uh, after the story with the angels Allah he ordered the angels to bow down except shaitan he refused and then Iblis he refused so he said to him Allah said to him uh, okay why you are refusing to bow down to me to to uh, to Adam and I order you to do so uh, uh, shaitan he said well you created me from fire you created him from mud which is a stupid answer because he should ask him why and why I should bow down for him I did nothing wrong <laughs> This is the right reason.
should it should be why you are asking me to bow down to this man I did nothing wrong I never spoke to him I never spoke about him and then Allah he told shaitan get down from here which means from heaven and then after that shaitan he was able to deceive Adam so shaitan is out so how shaitan came and he did dream he did uh, 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 deceive Adam look in verse even not only in this verse says chapter uh, uh, verse number 13 this is chapter 7 verse number 13 then he told him get down so he kicked him out and then he said that again he said Allah he said to him he said to him to shaitan uh, get out of here and you will be humiliated by the way and all that blah 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 and disrespected and then after that you will find that he told Adam to go and live in the heaven and enjoy the fruit of the heaven and then shaitan he came and he whispered to them but shaitan is out how shaitan was able to penetrate into the system of the heaven how he was able to get the key of the Khomeini the mullah of Iran through the door of the for, for the door of the heaven and remember the the heaven have seven gates seven doors so this story is, is obviously written by very low IQ someone is not a smart someone is not intelligent someone he is just blah 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 so blah 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 the god of a blah 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 come to us with a story full of a blah 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 and then we have to believe in the blah 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 and we have to say a blah 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 shahada and that will make us believe in Allah and then we will go to heaven to, to witness such a stupidity so do we really need such a blah blah cult I mean what this what we, what we learn from this what we learned is that Allah cannot write this he cannot report the story accurately twice Three times, four times, five times, the story, same story reported in the Quran. And each time Allah, he make mistakes over and over and over. And he don't make sense. And everything in the story is stupid. And then we find that Muhammad as an example. He add to us more details to the ignorance of Allah. As an example, if you remember here the story where Muhammad was waiting for Jibreel. And Jibreel, he came to deliver the Quran. I mean, this is a very important uh, uh, mission. I mean, you imagine you are an angel of God and you are coming to deliver a prom and you promise Muhammad to come. So Jibreel, which is the Holy Spirit, according to Islam, he come to deliver a message to Muhammad. But then Jibreel could not do it. Why? Because there is a puppy under the bed of Muhammad. Have you ever heard of a madness like this? That an angel of God, he could not take the command of God into practice because of a puppy have you ever heard of a God a little puppy can disturb his plan to make it simple for you let us say that Allah is judgment day for the sake of argument he decide to this day to send the message to Muhammad let us say Muhammad was a uh, prophet Noah let us say for the sake of argument and the angel now is going to come to Noah and tell him today I'm going to make the flood Allah said to me but Noah could not receive the message why because there is a puppy under the bed of the prophet Noah have you ever heard of a silly stupid cult like this before how we can say that this is God who nothing can stop him he's all-powerful almighty all knowledgeable don't Allah knew that there is a puppy inside Secondly, how a puppy can stop Allah? I mean, he's just a puppy. If the puppy, if the puppy will stop the message from Allah to come into the bedroom of Muhammad, well, the puppy should be able to stop Allah from sending him message to the whole earth because the whole earth is full of puppies. So what is that? Muhammad, he could not explain why he could not fabricate Quran no more. So he claimed that there is a dead puppy was under his bed. Very silly, very stupid. How God can be God, but yet He is uh, have a phobia of puppy. Like imagine you are a you are Hercules. You are the one. Uh, uh, you are the one we see in those movies, uh, Thor and the uh, Batman and Superman. And then you come to my house and I open the door for you and you say, no, 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 I cannot get in. I say, why, Superman? Why you cannot get in? You say you have a puppy. They cannot. I cannot. I have to wait. I cannot get inside your house because you have a puppy. It's a puppy. It's not even a dog. It's a small, tiny puppy. They are cute. We can play with them. They are very cute. They are very lovely. So what kind of God, what kind of angel? Do Allah knew that at this time Muhammad he have a puppy under his house? And why Allah? Look, okay. 
th the story is not only funny it's just stupid but this is exactly what we are talking about the whole thing is a stupid based on stupidity and they in order to make you believe they have to use terror and violence and who dare to question the prophet so like now if I'm asking this question in anywhere in the Middle East I will be dead in two seconds because how dare you but all of us we should ask this question how such a thing can be a belief how such a thing can be God how such a thing can be an angel how such a puppy can scare the hell of a God it's a puppy ho ho puppy all right so if a puppy can stop a hero that hero is not a hero that is I don't know you, you give him a name so the knowledge of Allah is not exist it is silly and not only the mistakes of science and history and we spoke about them thousands and thousands of time but even things go farther to be silly stupid and it's not it does not make sense in any way in any mean so I'm not going to keep you long here uh, look like our broadcast is going fine with this Wi-Fi I will try to do one tomorrow so you guys, uh, I want to say thank you for being here. And again, for those who do not know, uh, Super Chat is active again. And I hope that uh, will stay. Um, so uh, people, they can help us in our mission. I want to say thank you. I'm still abroad. I'm not home yet. This is why I'm using a tablet, not a computer. And I hope soon I will be back home and we will go back to normal. And we will be able to do more and more and more. Glory to the Lord our Lord the one who nothing can stop him and he will not be upset for seeing a puppy for he is the one who created the puppy and puppies my friend are very cute and very lovely and Muhammad he says kill all the dogs because obviously he have a mental issues dogs are very very nice creatures actually they are one of the best of friends between all animals to human so why we want to kill them and why puppy is scary what kind of a god have a phobia from a puppy that is very weird so if you are a puppy liver lover give us a like uh, if you are from those liberals who they are saying we support the human right and then uh, they defend islam always well islam says kill puppies do you support that islam is against you know all kind of a human right islam does not even approve a human right so how you can be liberal and yet you are supporting su supporting a religion which uh, against liberating women or liberating a human being giving freedoms slavery killing dogs killing animals torturing putting nails in the eyes a crucifixion apostasy i mean you name it yet you are you call yourself a liberal i don't know how you can call yourself such a name and yet you support such a god so thank you guys for being here may the lord bless you all and until we see you soon again we say christ is lord Islam is false. And this is a Christian prince with you. I say good day, good evening, and God bless you all. Thank you.